Welcome to the Plan for Success training video. In this video we are going to cover these areas. Responsibility contract and parent permission slip. Objectives. Grading. Expectations. Description of duties. MetroTech library collection codes. Dewey Decimal System. And a few other things. Watch it again if you need to and feel free to ask us questions. That's what we're here for. So please sit back and be prepared to learn. The curriculum, instruction, and assessments are designed so students will be engaged and enthusiastic to participate in this library course. Please thoroughly review the Plan for Success handout and discuss this information with your parents as well. After you and your parents have thoroughly read the handout and you understand completely what your duties are and what's expected of you, you are to fill out the student-parent-teacher agreement and sign it. This is a binding agreement. Your signature indicates that you and your parents have carefully read the plan for success for this class and are aware of the expectations for the class as outlined in this document. If you have any questions regarding this document, please feel free to contact Ms. Nix. By the end of the course, the student should be able to meet these objectives. Sort books by the collection codes or sections. Accurately alphabetize. Understand and apply the Dewey Decimal System for nonfiction. Successfully navigate the online pack to conduct searches. Check materials in and out on the computer circulation system. Assist patrons with various needs and direct them to the appropriate answers. Answer the phones politely and take accurate messages. Follow school library rules regarding IDs, passes, and free time at lunch, before, and after school. Process and catalog new books following specific procedures. Your grade begins with your attendance. Once your absences and tardies are made up, your grade will be based on being pleasant and respectful to students and teachers, eagerness to learn library tech center procedures, Assuming responsibility for assigned tasks without being reminded. Cooperation and working throughout the whole class hour. Asking for more work when assignments are completed. Showing honesty and integrity. Students are expected to be on task every day and prepared to contribute to the overall function of the library with enthusiasm and initiative. As a library student assistant, you are expected to be respectful of others and set a good example. Remember, you're in class earning an elective credit. Do not make appointments or visit with friends during the class period. If you finish your assigned duties, please ask for another task or read. There's no eating, drinking, or gum chewing allowed in the library. Keep your personal belongings in the designated cabinet or area. Personal grooming is not to be done in the library tech center. Passes are not issued during the first or last 15 minutes of class. No cell phones or iPod are to be used in the circulation desk area. You'll be assigned tasks as they occur, like filing, dusting, and even special projects. Check your assigned shelves daily to keep the books straightened. Accurately shelf all received materials each day. Students must have an ID to check out a book. Carefully check the computer screen for accurate scanning and screen messages. When answering the phone, be polite and in a professional voice say MetroTech Library student speaking and then take or relay any messages to the appropriate people. Your duties at the beginning of class are to maintain the library area, pack stations, study tables, and the children's room. Straighten out chairs, books, magazines, and computers. Collect loose books from the stacks and take to the circulation desk. Check in loose books as in-house use item. Refill the pack station areas with papers and pencils. Shelf books that are on noted shelving carts. And recycle outdated copies of magazines. When you've completed your daily tasks and there's nothing else to do, ask Ms. Nix or any staff member what else you can do. Instead of sitting around socializing, ask for the things to do when you think there's nothing to do list. To check in a book, log into the LS Circulation 
with username HELP12 and the password TIME12. Click on Check In. For in-house, use F3 tab. Scan the barcode or type it in under Item. Check the screen to make sure the patron and book are entered correctly. If the book is borrowed from another school, place it in an envelope immediately, address it, and return by sending in district mail. That will be the basket in the front of the administration office. Sensitize magnetic security strip by running the book spine back and forth across the sensitizer magnet. Never place the sensitizer or desensitizer close to any computer. Do not sensitize video or cassette tapes. To check out a book, make sure cursor is on Patron Transactions box. Scan ID or type in student ID number. Scan book barcode, make sure sensor moved to enter item first. Check screen to make sure patron and book are entered correctly. Stamp due date on card two weeks from day of checkout. Check the screen for the due date. Use the due date card in existing pocket or place a new card in the pocket. If no pocket, use the due date slips with the sticky strip or place a card inside like a bookmark. Desensitize the book, not videos or cassettes, by rubbing the book spine back and forth across the desensitizer. This stops our detection system alarms from beeping. When a student sets off the alarm, please have them come back to the circulation desk so you can desensitize their book. For renewal, scan an ID, highlight the title to renew on the computer, and hit Renew button. It automatically rechecks out for another two weeks. And don't forget to stamp the book with the new due date. If students have fines, please get a librarian to deal with it. Simply hold the book for them with the student name, ID number, date, and reason for hold. If no librarian or media techs are around and it asks for a password, hit Cancel, simply hold the book, and refer them to Ms. Nix or the media techs for concerns. For students who have fines but say they turn the book in, write down the title and barcode and student ID on a piece of paper. Find the call number under the F4 tab, item info, and write it down too. Go to the shelves to find the book and or send the student to look. If you find the book, save it and show Ms. Nix she will clear the account. Make a note about the result and tell her. If the book isn't there, make a note about the result. Then when students come, tell them they must pay or not check out and or come and talk to Ms. Nix. When a new book arrives, it must be processed before it can be shelved. There are nine steps to processing a book. We'll break it down into two parts to make it easier to remember. In part one, we'll go through steps one through eight. Step 1. Take the full Metrotech Library stamp with the address on it and stamp the front and back page of the book with it. Step 2. Take the stamp with just Metrotech Library and stamp the top of the book, the title page, the one that has all the information on back, and then always on page 41. Step 3. Put the call number sticker on the spine of the book. It must be an inch and a half up from the bottom. Step 4. Place a barcode sticker on the front of the book where there's an open space with no writing. Step 5. Place a security strip on any page inside the book so the sensor will beep when the book is removed from the library. Step 6. Take a red pen and put a dot on the top right corner of the first page of the book. This confirms that the book has a security strip in it. Step 7. Take a black pen and write the barcode number on the title page and on page 41. Step 8. Take a pencil and write the call number on the top right corner under the red dot. 
To recap, the call number is in pencil, the barcode is in black pen, and the red dot confirms the security strip is in the book. In part two, we'll go through step nine. In step nine, we cover in detail how to put the adhesive protective cover on the book. First, take a new protective cover with the paper still on one side, then remove the spine or middle strip of the paper. Now center the book in the middle of the strip, leaving equal spaces on the top and bottom, and make sure it's straight. Then take the plastic utensil, called the bone stick, and with some pressure, rub the book so the adhesive cover sticks to the book with no bubbles. Now rub the remaining exposed plastic adhesive cover up to the paper on either side of the book. Find the corner of the paper and pull it up enough to rub the adhesive little by little until the paper is completely pushed off the book. Just take the bone stick and remove any bubbles that you find, and then remove the remaining paper from the adhesive. Now take a pair of scissors and cut the corners at an angle. Fold the center over and secure it to the inside of the book cover. Now repeat this process on the other side of the book cover. Rub the adhesive little by little until the paper is completely pushed off the book. Remove the remaining paper from the adhesive. Take the bone stick and remove any bubbles that you find. Cut the corners at an angle. Fold the center over and secure it to the inside of the book cover. Cut a slit on both sides of the spine. Fold the side pieces over and secure them to the inside of the book. After you've completely covered the book, thoroughly check it for bubbles and use the bone stick to remove them. Cut a slit on both sides of the spine. Fold the side pieces over and secure them to the inside of the book. When you're done, you'll have some of the plastic adhesive showing past the spine. Just take a pair of scissors and cut it off. Now the book is ready to be shelved. Please remember, you can't do step 9 without doing step 1 through 8 first. This concludes our training video. We hope you learned what your duties are and what's expected of you. That you'll be prepared to work. That you will attend every day. And most importantly, we hope you'll be excited and enthusiastic to be a part of the Metrotech team.